In this tutorial, we will learn what is JSON and what is its importance in MongoDB. So JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notification and sorry, notation, and it's a human readable collection of data. So it is in a text format, you can easily read it. If you save that uh, uh, JSON file, you have to uh, save it with .json format. And it is a very common data format and it has a large range of application which it supports. JSON is also uh, language independent. There is no such data format which is restricted. So, and it was derived from uh, JavaScript. Why JSON is used? Uh, so JSON is a text which can be converted to any object of J JavaScript into JSON. It can be used with the modern programming language. It is recognized natively by JavaScript. It is supported by most of the backend technologies. It is easy to read and write and to use and it supports all browsers and it has a, a very easy uh, syntax. So this is, this is a great feature in this. Uh, there's a kind of JSON's history. JSON grew out of the need of a stateless real time server to browser communication and it was uh, first time specified by Douglas Crockford and it was popularized as a JSON format. Its acronym uh, is originated at the State uh, Software, a company which was uh, co-founded by Crockford and others in March 2001. JSON was originally advertised and believed to be a, a strict subset of uh, JavaScript. In 2013, it was uh, published in one of the EMC International Journal. What are the different features of the JSON? JSON is an open source and free to use tool. Uh, it is compatible with the uh, a, it's kind of text which is easy to read and JSON is quite fast. It is going to consume very less memory. It is e easier when you use it and JSON library doesn't require any other library for processing. This is the syntax. So uh, you have a, a round bracket, then you have a curly bracket, then uh, you have the name value pair which are separated by commas. So it starts with curly bracket that holds the object, then there is a square bracket that holds the array. So this is a kind of example, if you save variable obj, then you have to give the key value pair. And this is the uh, uh, example of the object. An object should be enclosed in curly uh, braces. So you can see here, it should be an under, unordered set of name or value pair. So this is the key, this is value uh, pair. The name should be followed by a colon and you can use it in any key uh, uh, value name and it can uh, hold the arbitrary uh, strings as well. So there's an example of JSON, you have uh, curly bracket, then uh, you have uh, square brackets, and this is how it works. Th this is a uh, standard of how it looks, uh, uh, the JSON file. And how it's important when you deal with the MongoDB, how to structure your data for MongoDB. So this is an example where, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, or I would say the columns, or I'll say the key, and uh, if you say this column, column number six, or uh, uh, key number six, I have salary or day work. So, so I have um, a kind of, every kind of stuff available over here. So I have to put it into the, uh, to MongoDB JSON file. What are the challenges? So one column with many types of uh, data types, it can be included in, in Mongo, or MongoDB and JSON file. When you do it, you create a collection and you insert each row as a document in MongoDB, right? This is how it works. So this is not actually possible in relational database. So how, how do we do it? So we use the curly brackets, then we put the key value pair uh, like this. So this is again a kind of format which is uh, possible. So you have a square brackets where and uh, you can put in the array which is not possible in normal uh, RDBMS uh, uh, columns where the strict schema is defined. And finally, we have a small demo on this. I'll just, okay, so this is uh, JSON, I mean, um, no SQL booster for MongoDB. So what I'm going to do, so 
this is a JSON file. You can see um, the round bracket, then you have uh, curly brackets, then this is my uh, first key, and this is its value. So key value pair is here, then I give it comma, then another key web, and then this is value pair. So I'll just execute it. So what it is doing, it is saying DB, which is a keyword, my collection, this is a, a name of the collection which we are going to create if it does not already exist, and insert one, just insert this row. So if I run this, this is going to insert it in my collection. You can see that uh, it, is, it is inserted. Right, and in similar way, you, we, we do it for the uh, rest of uh, uh, the, uh, the documents as well. And this is, this is the JSON uh, format. You have a curl, a round bracket, you have a curly bracket, you have key value pair, which is separated by colon, then you have a comma, and this is, this is how it works. So I hope it is going to help, and uh, thanks for watching.